What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get iMessage on your Android, aka a blue bubble. So the first thing is, you're going to want to go to the App Store, and then you're going to want to download this app called Sunbird. It's called Sunbird iMessage for Android Early Access. It may not be early access by the time you watch this video, but just know that this is how you can get iMessage on your Android. Now the next thing is, once the app is downloaded, you're going to want to open it up, press get started, and then create an account. And then you're going to want to allow notifications, and then all sunburn sounds, allow access to contacts. And the next thing you're going to see here is you're going to want to connect to iMessage. And then it's going to say here that you need an Apple ID that has been active on an iPhone, iPad, or Mac for two weeks. And if you don't have that, all you got to do is click on this right here. And it's going to ask you to create an Apple ID. Just follow all the instructions, but I already have an Apple ID since I'm using a Mac right now to virtualize this Android. So I'm going to just connect my Apple ID. And it's going to ask you to sign in with your Apple ID. All you got to do is sign in with your Apple ID. And if you're on an Apple device, it may ask you to prompt with your Apple ID in St. Louis, Missouri. This is normal. So we're just going to click on allow and follow all the on-screen instructions and then enter the code that we put in right here. Then click on connect. Now, once you have your iMessage, you can connect to anything else if you really want to. Then click on continue. And then there we go. We have our iMessage. All right, as a test, I'm going to send this iMessage to my friend. And it looks like it has sent. And as you can see, it worked. So this is the message I just sent to him in the Android VM. And it works. Now, it doesn't look like it pulls all your iMessages. It looks like it works. So we'll see if he'll respond. You can now send photos to all your iMessage friends and you can even join iMessage group chats, which is a pretty cool feature. Now, how does this all work? So basically they have servers, which are Macs and Macs have iMessage, as you can see right here. And that's this is basically how they send iMessages. They just send it with this green bubble here. As you can see, there are reactions. So I guess it took a little bit since there's a little bit of ping here, but yeah, it works. As you can see here, there it, there it is right here. He responded and it works just fine. And you can even send reactions and everything. You just can't unsend and edit it looks like as of right now, but it may be an update in the future. I believe this was in development before iOS 16 was out. Now thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!